Hey everybody, welcome to Always Bored, Never Boring. Today, I have just a quick update for you regarding Hasbro's new edition of HeroQuest, and something that has caused a good deal of frustration among fans, the Guardian Knight expansion. This was a special limited edition item that went up for pre-order last year and sold out at an incredible speed. Since then, people have been wondering if they will get another chance to get this expansion, and on the 15th of March, Hasbro published an announcement. The answer is... no. Well, that's disappointing. However, all may not be lost for people who are keen to play a noble knight venturing into Hero Quest Dark Corridors. So I think the best thing to do here is read from Hasbro's official announcement on the subject. I will also link to the announcement in the video description below so you can read it for yourself. It states, First, let us apologise as we are aware that many of you who have pre-ordered the Commander of the Guardian Knights still have yet to receive it. Due to a shipping delay, a portion of the stock that was supposed to reach one of our vendors didn't receive its full allocation of figures. Thankfully, all the figures have arrived and we are hopeful the vendor will be able to start delivery soon. When this Commander of the Guardian Knights expansion was first conceived, we had no idea if fans would accept or reject the idea of an expansion that didn't already exist. Fan-made heroes have popped up on BoardGameGeek and various fan sites for years, but we were publishing the original North American version of HeroQuest nearly as is. Would fans be interested in something new? As it turns out, the answer was a resounding yes. The Guardian Knight pre-order went live in November, and amazingly, it sold out in about a day. We were excited, astonished and proud of our fans for such a supportive response. However, we soon saw the demand was even greater than expected, and we had originally only intended to make the one print run before moving on to the next project. The Commander was developed in cooperation with retail partners as a limited expansion to support the launch of the HeroQuest game system, and we didn't foresee such an incredible appetite for the figure. What this means is that we are not able to print another run of the Commander of the Guardian Knights figure as is. While the Guardian Knights still have a role to play in the larger story of HeroQuest, no more of the current figure can be produced. We underestimated its popularity, and for that we offer an apology to our fans. We know we let you down, and you may rightfully be feeling very frustrated with us. To those of you still waiting for your figure, we expect you should see it soon. Your friendly local game store may also have some for sale, so please always consider shopping local. We're also aware that scalpers are already selling the item online for well over our recommended selling price. The vendors we work with may have had protections in place to deter scalping, but please understand it is impossible to fully prevent such practices. The best way to eliminate scalping is to not purchase items from scalpers at exorbitant prices. Looking forward, we believe HeroQuest has a bright future. We've hinted at the next release, and eagle-eyed viewers may have seen what we're up to at last year's PulseCon. We've also released two free downloadable quests, Rogar's Hall and the Forsaken Tunnels of Zorzel, along with continued updates of the HeroQuest companion app. But we're already planning for much more after that, and knowing now just how excited our fans are, we have a better grasp on how large to make our print runs, and to be prepared for multiple runs if needed. Our goal is to improve our processes and products with every release, and listening to our fans is the best way for us to understand how to do so. We look forward to the exciting future of HeroQuest, and we hope you do too. So, what can we draw from this? First of all, we can determine Hasbro is full of hot air. They had absolutely no qualms in creating three new heroes and multiple new quest lines during the crowdfunding period to raise funds, so I don't buy the line that they made only a small number of Guardian Knights because they weren't sure people would like something new. But let's move past that. While they have clearly stated they produce the Guardian Knight as a retailer exclusive, the wording in the announcement is they cannot reprint the expansion as is. That means we may see the Guardian Knight expansion with some slight changes, probably with an alternative sculpt, either as a standalone hero pack or as part of a new expansion somewhere down the line. I also suspect these Guardian Knights may be replacing the mercenaries from various different hero quest expansions from the past. And that may not appease completionists who have missed out on an exclusive miniature, but at least there could be an option for people to have an official version of the Guardian Knight character to play with at some point. The other thing to take from this announcement is that they have once again drawn attention to the fact that they are working on the Frozen Horror Barbarian Quest Pack expansion, which was teased at PulseCon, and they have now confirmed that, that will be the next release. Furthermore, they have suggested they aren't working on new material at the moment. That makes sense, and I've already predicted, based on artwork they have shared, that the Elf Quest pack, The Mage of the Mirror, will be the next expansion after Frozen Horror. 
All told, this announcement is going to be disappointing for those people who didn't lock in a pre-order of the Guardian Knight expansion, but hopefully Hasbro have learned from this. Hopefully they make the Knight character available in another format, maybe give them a spear, and hopefully we won't have to wait too long now for the Barbarian quest pack. I can't wait to see those polar bears. But that's it from me for now, thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please consider pressing the like button. If you really enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing if you don't already do so. And hopefully, I'll see you all again very soon. Bye bye everyone, bye bye.